It's uh, 10 past 11 p.m. We've uh, just travelled up from uh, from Epsom it, after an eight-hour journey covering over 300 miles, but we didn't walk that. And we've just set up our camp now, and we'll be up bright and early at 6:30 a.m. tomorrow for our for our walk, which uh, is all pretty exciting. Well, it's day two of our journey, the first day of our expedition, and um, we've got 15 kilometres to travel today. Um, it's been a bit of a wet night, but the tents have held. We're all dry inside, with the exception of Nathan. And, um, well, our field's been invaded by sheep. It's 9.30, we've been walking for about two minutes and already everything has gone tits up. Our route has been washed off the map completely and we don't have a clue where we're going. But. Uh, we're still in the Lake District, so it's all good. <laughs> See you later. Don't think it says in the country code do not fish. Yeah, I am respecting Wait, where is the actual check? It doesn't matter. No, because he said we're going to speak. <laughs> <laughs> it's 12 o'clock, we've just stopped for lunch. We've walked 8 kilometres and we're <laughs> <laughs> about to walk up to the Glacial Tarn. It's quite deep to go in, isn't it? Alright, it's 20 past 2, we're uh, nearly at our campsite, kind of where that cloud is just going to right now. Um, so we'll see how it goes when we get there. We're out with the uh, Glacier Tarn, which looks quite nice. Yeah, pretty buff. Yeah, and um, we've set up camp, we've got both our tents up. Uh, there's not as many sheep as at the last campsite, there are a couple, might get a bit pokey later on. But um, yeah, other than that, we're going to cook some dinner and have a bit of fun later on. It's all great. Hi it's uh, 8.30, we've got our tent up, had our meals and we're settling them down for the night. Um, I've just decided to go up a bit, uh, head up the hill just above where our campsite is as you can see. Surrounded by sheep, <laughs> uh, but they seem to run away from me. Um, mist has come in tonight so we're probably going to expect a lot of rain. So I mean, uh, before visibility was brilliant and we could see all the way but I mean, now it's come down, uh, visibility's down to maybe... 40 metres, um, and the wind is about the same, still quite strong though. Uh, so I'm just going to head up and have a look, and uh, well, there's not much I can see now. The original plan was to have a look and see the route for tomorrow, but that's not going to work. So I'm just going to go up a bit and uh, then come back down again. All right. Right, well, it's uh, 10.20 on the... Uh, First night of the actual expedition, the second night overall, so we came up uh, yesterday and uh, we had, uh, wasn't that far walking, it was 14 today I think, um, which doesn't seem like that, that much but with the um, uphill that we've been doing, especially towards the end it got really really slow, um, well we got the tents up and everything, uh, it's dark now, we're in there and it's going to be a good night's sleep, hopefully uh, all the pains and the bruises and the sores from carrying bags today will be gone before tomorrow. And we'll be able to press on and uh, reach our next campsite. Okay, it's day two of the expedition in the DV training uh, Lake District. As you guessed, it is raining. Um, 
morale is pretty low at the moment, it's been raining all night, it's really windy and uh, we've got to walk 14 kilometres today, most of which is on a gradient, so not really looking forward to that. But otherwise, uh, just trod along and try and get to the campsite. See you later. No? <laughs> I feel good now. Day two of the expedition, it's uh, 5 to 11 and uh, we've come across an abandoned quarry that's uh, no longer abandoned. Uh, apparently we're still in the Lake District which helps and it is raining so it's a pretty good chance we are still in the right place so um, catch you up later again, later on. Like that, isn't it? Mm. Mm. So you can see there the big uh, railway sleeper. We've walked over a couple of others in there. So, slate that would have been quarried from here would have gone out on a little truck on railway lines. Now day three, we've just stopped for lunch in a little village called Elton Water, and yeah, pretty nice. Yeah, the weather's <coughs> actually pretty good for once, believe it or not, it is not raining, and we are, yes, still in the Lake District. Um, we've got to meet Norman, our legendary instructor, at a church about three and a half kilometres away in four hours, so uh, that's going to be a bit of a backbreak of that one. Uh, Nathan? Uh, we've just uh, recently today been with Norman through a cave got to a point where we couldn't see anything when we turned our torches off which was quite scary, scary and exciting <laughs> all at the same time mixed into one bundle package and um, yeah it's good. Well it's uh, 6.30 on our final night of the um, expedition we've walked 14 kilometers today uh, it's been a good day it's been sunny all day which has been it's been the best day so far uh, we've arrived at our campsite now we've got our gear in but just as we got the tents up it started to rain so we're quite lucky with the timing then um, it's probably the best campsite of all it's cost the most um, in the grounds of Rydal Hall and it's actually got it's actually got facilities on site and we're not dropping it where it lies <laughs> um, so it should be a good night's sleep and then onwards for the final onslaught tomorrow. See you then. It's the final day of the DV hike in the Lake District. Um, as you guessed, I probably don't even need to say anymore, it is raining. Um, morale is kind of pretty high because we're going home tomorrow and we can, uh, we can get back to a nice dry uh, pavilion tonight that we're staying in, so that should be pretty cool. Uh, Pretty heavy rain last night, but the tent's held out, and we've got about an hour to go, nearly five kilometres, so uh, we shouldn't have left an hour late, I think. But yeah, other than that, it's all good. Along the road? Yep. Until it's a park. Going parallel. We've now just finished our DOV practice expedition, we're at the last checkpoint <laughs> and uh, it's big cut chicken over there and uh, yeah, it's been a long hard walk but it's been good in Lake District. Yep. And it's not raining. Yeah, it's not raining, it's sunny and that's it. <laughs>